Hi, <laughs> my name is Sani Angeline, and this is my first ever YouTube video. So like if I sound um awkward, just so you know, this is my first time. So like, I look horrible right now, and I'm not trying to look great because I'm too lazy for that. I got no time. I'm just trying to get through this video. And I'm doing this video not because I have to do it, but I've honestly been thinking about doing it for quite some time, but I just never had the courage to do it. So like, this will be my first ever video. And um, yes, I'm in my pajamas, in my hoodie, in this comfortable room that I'm in, books, open clutter everywhere dog sleeping on the ground so if you hear barking or scratching on the floor it's my dog anyways this video is about my hair <laughs> yes it's about my hair journey and what i have learned and what my hair care routine is and I'm not gonna get into like what I learned more like about what my journey is because that's the whole thing. My whole, the title of this video is my hair journey. So yeah, I'm just gonna say what I've learned from the, from the whole year. For one year, I have learned that it is perfectly normal to shed hair. Like every time you brush it, there's gonna be hair left on that brush. And like that is normal. That is pre completely normal. And um, it's a pain, you know, it's, it's bothersome. It's like a whole thing, but we lose, a, we lose hair 80 to 100 hairs daily. So like, it's completely normal. It sounds a lot, but trust me, it's normal. If there's no hair on your brush when you brush it, that is not normal. You have to do something about that. Anyways, um, and new, and hair grows every day. It grows every day. So like, you don't have to worry. If you feel like your hair is thinning out, just get a hair oil. Or hair growth oil because that worked for me my hair growth oil is like tumbuh lab like it's a local indonesian hair oil you won't be able to find it in your i don't know where you're where you're from but where i'm from indonesia that's the best hair oil that works for my scalp and before I even had these, like, I've had insecurities because, like, my hair, <laughs> it's not, it's, right now, it's actually good. Right now, my hair is, like, mid, somewhere, like, between thin and, thin and medium hair. Like, do you get what I mean? Medium density. So, right now. But, like, before that, it was thin, girl. It was thin. Like, this, it used to have a bald spot. But now it's covered with hair. Like, this used to have a bald spot. But, like, it's, oh, it's covered now. And, like, when I was younger, I had a lot of hair. I had thick, I had th th hair, thicker hair than most of my family members. Like, my dad bald. <coughs> my dad bald. My mom, she had thick hair though. She she got thick hair. She, ooh, it's a jungle. Okay, a jungle, a jungle. And both my sisters, huh, almost going. They're about to go there. <laughs> Let's just say that. My brother, just waiting. We're waiting for him to get bald too. Like, it's in the jeans. We're waiting for him to get bald, okay? <sighs> and like, when I notice that my hair has grown thinner, like, it became such an insecurity. Like, 
it really bothered me that my hair was so thin. It was like, I mean, it's not very thin, but it was like, you could see my scalp. Like, if I do this, you can see my scalp because my hair falls. And like, I get insecure because I would be in the lift going up to my classroom and people that are taller than me are behind me. They could look at the top of my head, like my scalp. And that would really, really, really bother me. And like... I just wish that I could, you know, fix that. How do I fix that? How could I grow new, better hair? So, like, I bought tons and tons and tons of hair products, like hair oil, hair tonic, hair shampoo. Like, I bought a lot of stuff just so I could grow new hair. And... The more stuff that I bought is like, oh, <laughs> I'm stressing so much about this. I'm stressing so much. It's making my hair, like stress also leads to hair loss. And stressing about hair leads to hair loss too. So like I just started to like just go with the flow, just use this hair oil that you might think it's good and then just move on with your life. And six months later, I blinked, looked at my hair and I'm like, oh, it actually got thicker. Like literally it did actually got thicker. Like I'm not crazy. I mean, my hair right now, I haven't washed my hair in like three days, but like, I don't know it looks crazy. Okay, I know it looks crazy. But like this is thicker than what than um what it used to be. This is thicker than what it used to be. Okay? Like to y'all this might be just like medium, but to me this is thick. Okay, so like I'm happy with what I've got right now. But I would love to like see thin, thin. <laughs> but like I've just learned to accept it. And to grow my hair, I actually made, I actually um, do a hair care routine video, like after this intro. So, let's move on to the video. So, what you gotta do? You gotta massage the whole head with your head massager, or you can just use your hands. But since I like feeling, <laughs> since I like to waste my money. And I like to feel fancy. I use a head massager, but using your hands also works. And it's free. You do this to your whole head. And I do this for like about maybe 30 minutes just to like make sure the blood go flow. <sighs> English is hard. For the blood to go into my scalp, go into my head, like just to make sure. And when you massage it, make sure you like, don't press it too hard. Cause like it hurts, <laughs> but like, I like pressing it hard because I want to feel something. <laughs> I like feeling things, you know? I want to feel something. Oh, oh, interrupt. Where did that even come from? I don't have my phone with me. Did y'all? Oh, no, I do. <sighs> Sometimes I'm tired with my own stupidity. I'm tired. I'm tired. That's it. I'm just tired. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, since we're done with the massaging part, we're going to the oil. Um, I put the boil, boil, the oil, the oil that I bought into here because I like this. I like this part. And it's because like, it makes it easier. But if you, oh, oh ew. Is that hair? <laughs> You didn't see any hair. You didn't see anything. 
And that's how much I lost here. Hair shedding, it's, it's normal. Like, you can't do anything about it. When you brush your hair to get the tangles out and there's hair. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, there's hair from the on your brush. Like, that's normal. That's normal. It's called hair shedding. And according to Google, people shed their hair for like 200 strands a day. <laughs> so, it's normal. It's normal, gals. It's normal. Just to brush it out again to make sure there is no tangles because once we're done with the oiling part we're not gonna brush it again because the hair is when your hair is oiled it's gonna be like easily damaged so i mean that's what i heard that's what i heard okay that's just what i heard okay now we're part am i parting in the middle this is why i wear glasses it's hard We've been over this. We don't talk about this. We just look at the result. We look at the result. Okay, we look at the result. <laughs> Anyways, you make a section. You put the oil on the scalp. And then you just massage it in so that it doesn't go anywhere. Like just a little. And then after, and then after that, you make another section with another section you put more oil massage it in and that's basically it like you do this to the rest of your scalp i'm just gonna time lapse this just to make the video faster Okay, so, um, to be on, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna wash my hair, right? So these are the products that I use that they don't have in Indonesia, but I got, I got my sister, my sister is in college, so I'm using her money to buy me stuff that I'm not gonna pay back. <laughs> anyway, this is the shampoo that I use. Biogeo Scalp Revival Shampoo. I like this shampoo. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like this shampoo. It really, like, really cleanses the hair. It doesn't contain any sulfates and parabens, which is very, very important, by the way. It's very, very important that your shampoo, the, like, any of your products doesn't contain any sulfates. Or parabens or silicones because that's not good for the hair do you understand thank you and and this is my conditioner is from the same brand Briogeo Briogeo don't despair or repair also doesn't contain also is no harsh sulfates no silicones no parabens that is what you want in a hair product but I'm not gonna use my hair conditioner today. I'm just I'm gonna use my hair mask. It is the um. I don't know the difference between hair mask and deep conditioners. I use the hair mask as a deep conditioner, so I don't really care. It's from the Body Shop, Shea, the Body Shop hair mask Shea Butter. Also, oh. With soft protein. I didn't know that. Anyways, yeah, this is the stuff that I use. Oh, but sometimes from I gotta like as a gift, as a free gift for the shampoo. Didn't like the shampoo, by the way. It was it's graphen, graphen, graphen. Yeah, I didn't like the shampoo, by the way. Hold up, let me show you the shampoo. Like, no, not that one. 
Yeah, this is the shampoo. It's the Garfield Remover shampoo. I didn't like it. Honestly, didn't like it. I mean, I used, I used pretty much like all of it, but just to make sure that it was not the product. It's me, but yeah, I didn't like it because. Because after I Google translated the ingredients, it contained sulfates. So, sulfates are not good for me because after using sulfates, my head, my hair became, my scalp became very, very itchy, like over time, which I do not like. So, sorry, the cool air from my room, I need to, I'm starting to sweat. So like, yeah, that's it. Now that I'm gonna head into the shower, just know, shampoo your hair two times. After shampooing your hair, go in with the conditioner. Go in with the conditioner, only at the bottom, at the top here to the ends. Don't do it over from top here. Are you insane? I'm sorry. Do it from here to here, okay? Okay. And then you put it in a little clip and let it sit for like, I mean, this says two minutes if I'm not wrong. Leave it up for two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. But just follow the instructions of your products and you're good. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, ex that's what you gotta do. And then you can just do the rest of your body care after you're done. And then, yeah, see y'all later. Oh my god, we are finally done. Oh my god, my back. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this is the oil that I use. We're using this again, Wonderlux. It says it could be used for night treatment and stuff like that, but <laughs> I don't really trust it. I do one full pump like one full pump and then I'll do the second time I'll do like a half pump if that makes any sense <clears throat> rub it then just ow it hit my eye just like smooth it over all over your head like so and then it's like if you could see it's not wet it's like hard because of the gel so you if you want to like make it disappear you gotta break it so like to break it you have to scratch it and scrunching it it takes some time but the gel cast as what it is called it's like it's very good for volume and it's also like it that means your hair will last your curly hair will last for a long time so it is a good thing but a lot of people don't like it because of the of the gel cast but you want the gel cast i'm saying <laughs> I'm saying gel cast a lot. Anyways, this routine got me tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> and also, if you realize that I'm wearing new clothes, it's because last time I got lazy and I didn't do my curly hair routine. I just washed my hair. And that was it. I just dried it because I was so lazy. And 
I've been lazy. <coughs> I've been so lazy lately. And maybe because of the of the school year, I've been working so hard. But I've been working so hard, you know. I mean, <laughs> according to my grades, I wasn't. <laughs> According to my grades, I wasn't working hard, but you know, I did try my best, but I guess my best, I guess my best wasn't enough for the grades that I want. Um, but we just, I just got to push through it. I have no other choice but to push through it. You know what I mean? Anyways. That is it. You just scrunch the gel cast away. And I realized that my hair isn't fully dried down yet, but that's basically what it is. And this took me like one hour to do the styling. And then like probably 20 minutes to do the diffusing. <laughs> to do the diffusing. I think it probably took me uh, 20 minutes. <sighs> but I didn't know it was going to take me this hard. My back hurts. Is that okay? Like I'm not old. But like dang. My back hurts. It's Oh. My back hurts. It's not normal. And my bangs, they don't look right. They don't look right. This isn't how my bangs supposed to look like, but because again, lazy, I'm not trying so freaking hard, but you know, whatever. And I think my hair is a little damp. And if this is your first time doing a curly hair routine, at first it won't be, the first time you try to do it, it won't be as good. There will be a lot of frizz and probably at like the second day it will like be just a frizzy mess, you know. But it is, your hair is just like, it's not that your hair is not curly, it is like, how, how do I explain this? Your hair, your hair just needs to adapt to what your to your new routine because your old routine you probably like straightened it so much or like bleach or permed it so much, and your hair probably is already so accustomed to the damage that like it's kind of weirded out when you start taking care of your hair when you just started so it's like it's fine you know I mean I came to school <laughs> when I came to school after the first time I did my curly hair routine after the first time I came to school and my friend was looking at me and they were like are you okay <laughs> what happened to your hair you look like you got electrocuted <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie I was like, because I have curly hair, you don't understand. And I'm like, and yeah, but like the reason why I got into my curly hair routine, because my sister actually told me, His, hey, I think you have curly hair. And I, and when she said that, I was like, no way. Really? No way. Like, for the longest time, I probably thought I had wavy hair. I mean, I do have wavy hair, but I didn't know that some parts of my hair have curl in it. And I was like, I was, I was like kind of happy to hear that I have wavy hair. But it's also sad because like this whole time I thought that I had straight hair and my hair was just so damaged 
that I was just so damaged. That's why it's not cooperating. That's why I just have to straighten it everything every day. Wash my hair every day because every day my hair gets oily. My scalp gets oily. So like, really, this whole thing is a process. I mean, my hair right now, it got better. And I started my hair routine at January. Today is December. So like, this whole thing is a process, okay? It takes time. One thing of a curly hair girly or guy is to be patient. You have to be patient. And if you really, really care for your hair, just be patient. That is literally it. Just be patient and remember that all that not all products like have to be so expensive. I mean, most of the stuff that I have is local. Some of the stuff that I have is local. I mean, this mousse <laughs> is empty, honestly. Oh, there's a lot of gunk. <laughs> there's a lot of gunk on here. But I use this a lot. It's actually, I think it's empty, honestly. Nope, there's still some left. But I think I already like passed its... Mm, yeah. It passed its expiration date and now it doesn't work even though there's still a lot left. So I changed it to this mousse. This is the first mousse that I got. This is the second mousse that I got because... I got this one because it looked cool. It looked cooler and it's bigger. And this is okay. You know, this is fine. But this, I love this. I actually love this. Yeah, so. First day of hair washing. And I'm gonna show you. And sooner or later, I'm gonna show you on how to sleep in curly hairs because, like, if you just let it be like this, it's gonna get squashed with your pillow. So I'm gonna show you that guy later. But for now, let's just chill. Yeah. Oh my God, my back hurts. This is not okay. This is not okay. Now that is the end of the hair care tutorial. Oh my God, was it exhausting. <laughs> I made that video, like, I think before I went on my Korean, like, before I went abroad for a trip, and yeah, it was, so yeah, my hair, so this happened after, like, a year ago, so, I mean... My hair looks like a mess right now, but I'm kind of feeling it. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling it. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is, this is actually kind of cool. Ah! I don't know, okay. See, if you're confident in yourself, you could just like learn to accept what you have. Like this, I'm kind of fine with it. This looks, this looks good <laughs> to me. To me, okay, it might not look good to other people, but to me, it looks good. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> this whole process of making a video was brutal. Sorry for my dry lips. But I'll say making this video was brutal. And it may not look like high-end editing. But, but then again, this is my first video. So like it's gonna be... So it's gonna suck a lot but i don't know how many people will see this video and i hope not a lot but um i'll probably delete this video later but let's see what happens i guess bye y'all thanks for watching